Hi guys, good morning. Hope you're having a beautiful week. Today, I'm gonna sit down and talk about my five most used bags and my five least used bags of the year so far. I really like filming these videos because it does help me reflect a lot into what I'm using, what I'm not reaching out for and the reasons why and hopefully either fix whatever is not working and why I'm not reaching out for these things or if I ended up selling them and going for something that hopefully is going to work a little bit better for my lifestyle and as for the bags that I've been reaching out for the most just to know and understand why I'm loving them so much and for anyone that has been looking to get any of these bags to hopefully give you advice and maybe validate that they are great bags and why I have been liking them so much with that said I do want to start with the bags that I have been reaching out for the list I think doing this during July is quite perfect because I've already been through pretty much all the weather changes this covers the bags that I was using during January that it was colder than spring and now starting summer a little bit so it would be very interesting to see if this changes on the second part of the year that we will have of course the next part of summer then fall and then winters so with that being said there are a few bags here that I am really really thinking of selling not because I think they're bad bags but because of recent events I've just realized that I just want to use and make the most out of the things that I have in my closet and sometimes you grow and your lifestyle or or the way that you dress changes and even the bags are great and I love them and I have had them for so many years and I have some sort of sentimental attachment to them maybe it's best to give other new bags and things a try I think I'm someone who holds on to things for a really long time before deciding that it's time to part with them and because I hold on to them I don't really give myself the chance to try other bags that maybe are very different I tend to stick for the things that I like and I know that that sometimes will restrict me finding new things that I can possibly love even more than the things that I have right now. So with that mindset, I do want to see these bags as a possibility of letting them go. So with that said, the first bag is going to be one that pains me a lot, but I have not really reached out for it in the entire year so far. And that is my Chanel boy bag. And I'm gonna explain why it hurts because I am such a boy bag fan. If you ask me, I will always, always say, I think it's one of the most amazing designs that Chanel has ever made. It's a classic from the brand. Something that I have always, always loved about the boy bag is that it's not as feminine as the classic flaps. It has an amazing crossbody strap. It has so many Many pros and when I really started to love handbags this was one of the first ones that caught my eye and that I just fell in love instantly and also one of the first bags that I got on my wish list and I've always really really loved it I've always felt that it went so well with the way that I was dressing because it's a very very casual bag however with every year passing I've been just having a hard time choosing this bag over other bags and also because of the way that I'm dressing I just don't feel like it fits my style that much as it used to when I was a little bit younger so I'm having this battle of loving the bag for what it is versus how it's really been serving me and matching my style now and I have given so much time and thought into this because I really really love the boy bag I feel like the boy bag is not a trendy bag I don't agree with people saying that it's a bag that has expired that it's not something that you should use anymore like that's not it and I think that's why I have been struggling so much because I'm so against that mindset because I see the bag and how beautiful it is and I love it I love the bag I just keep choosing other possibly more feminine bags over this one especially when I I want a small crossbody bag because I do have a few things that bother me about this one very specifically the chain that it moves around my hair constantly gets stuck in this I don't know I've put a lot of time and thought into if I should let it go or not and at the end of the day I think maybe it's because it's black if it was a fun color or something different that would be like I have that specific bag for that specific purpose because I love this color or Maybe it's in tweed or maybe it's in suede. I don't know. I think I need to think about that and consider if it's wise to let it go or not because out of all of the bags, this is the only one that I have not used this year. The next one is my Louis Vuitton Speedy 25 in Damien Rubin and it's the bandolier version. The strap is inside of the bag. For this one, I don't have a lot of an explanation for it. I just don't reach out for it as much as I used to anymore. It is an amazing bag. It fits a lot. Yeah, I have some issues with the tarnishing of the hardware 
Hardware, which is something that I battled with since the year one that I bought it. So I don't think that's the issue. I hope that this gets fixed because I do love the bag a lot. This is the oldest bag that I have in my collection and I really, really love it. And it's the type of bag that I feel like if I got rid of it, I would want it back. So that's why I'm really, really holding on to it, even though I don't reach out for it as much as I would like to. Number three is going to be my pink Chanel mini. So this bag is beautiful. I know that. I've been reaching out for it a little bit more in the past couple of weeks. I don't know if I have an issue specifically because it's pink, because I have color bags that I use pretty much year around. My green, blue, classic flaps, I really don't have an issue with those colors. So I just feel like maybe I'm not a pink person. And pink is a bit harder to pair during fall and winter, whereas I feel I can handle green. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> I know that it sounds really weird, but I really have a hard time pairing pink if it's not like a full white outfit. And more like a summer dress so yes i've been using it a little bit more i do not plan to part with it because i really really love this bag every time that i actually use it i think it's beautiful i think it's also the fact that it's a mini that it's just a little bit more delicate it is in lambskin with aged gold hardware i love this bag but pink is definitely my least used color so maybe that's something to reflect a little bit more onto maybe if it was a medium or a small i would use it a little bit more that could be it but yeah i think now with summer i'm definitely gonna reach for it more because it's crossbody it's smaller i'm wearing more dresses and more florals so it's definitely gonna be easier to pair it but unfortunately it's part of the least used this one was quite shocking to me but my mini lady dior in the ultra matte white this bag was one of my most used bags for such a long time consistently i felt like i would reach out for this bag so so much especially during the last two years but this year i'm just not reaching out for it i prefer to go for other bags i don't know if it was because of my mini kelly but i'm not reaching out for it the same that i used to it is really sad because it is such a good bag it has top handle it has feet on the bottom it has a very good strap it has all of the aspects of the bags that i love and reach out for the most so i don't really understand maybe i used it way too much and now i'm kind of giving it a break that's what i'm kind of assuming that's going on i'm absolutely going to be more intentional with using it more possibly this summer and give it a bit more time before i decide if i should part with it or not and the last bag is constantly on my list used but since i do use it from time to time that's what's funny about the chanel jumbo like it is a really big bag but i really love it like every time that i use it i'm like okay that's why i like the bag that much it just fits so much it's so comfortable on the shoulder it is a bit heavy but not that much i think it's going to be such a good bag to have in a few years time and i'm never ever going to get it for the same price point that i got it back then but i just don't use it as much as the rest of my bags because it is a very large bag but it's very structured and it's not an open tote so i constantly have to open and close to get things in and out of it whereas the bags that i see myself using more and more are now open bags where I can just reach in and out and get things or a little bit of smaller handbags so I think it's something that will probably change with time and I'm gonna be very grateful that I never let go of it because I can just imagine in five years time six years time that I'm like oh I want a jumbo and I see the prices because of how Chanel has been having price increases and I'm gonna regret so so much selling it also due to the fact that this bag is from 2007 so it's older I believe that the quality of the bag is just better than the new ones that we can find nowadays so i don't know with this one i'm just kind of trusting the process and not letting it go now for the most used bags i'm gonna be a little bit quicker because i don't want to sound like a broken record of course you have heard me talk about these bags over and over for the past couple of months so you already know the pros and why i like them but i did want to make like a little list and point out the reasons why i like them so much but the first one is going to be my birkin 35 in etain it is in palladium hardware and the reason why i love this bag so much is simply because the idea that i can just put pretty much anything that i want on this bag makes me so happy because i used to be someone who wouldn't allow myself
myself to get such big bags because I am really short. So I was absolutely the type of person that would have like a handbag and then laptop in hand and water bottle on the other hand. I just felt like I didn't want to have such big bags because I have a small frame. And I had this bag on my wish list for such a long time, but I was really hesitant because I was scared that it was gonna be too heavy, too big, it would look silly on me, like a handbag with legs. But I ended up deciding to give the bag a try and every time that I'm in a need of carrying my laptop, some snacks, maybe a change of shoes, maybe a change of clothes, when I'm traveling, when I'm going for a really long time out of the apartment, it's just such a fantastic bag and I just love the look of the bag. I love the gray with the palladium hardware. I just really, really love the bag and I have found that it just fits me and my lifestyle personally so, so well. And especially when I do travel vlogs or I'm vlogging on the city, this bag is so good because I can take camera, I can take extra batteries, maybe a tripod, water, some snacks, like anything that I can think of, I can put here and also even other bags inside. So it's just been great and working out perfectly for me. The Bottega Veneta Mini Jody is going to make it to the list. I knew that I was going to love this bag so so much took me a while to decide to give Bottega Veneta a try and now I am kind of obsessed and I want to give the Jody a chance in different sizes I would love to try the small one maybe in suede or maybe the teen size I'm very indecisive if the teen or the small are gonna be a better fit for me but this one I love it so so much I love the shape it's such a comfortable amazing mini bag this one is in the color fondant and yeah, I absolutely love it. I think it was an amazing purchase. And more than anything for me is really the quality. The leather feels so, so good and the customer service is amazing, but the bag is comfortable. The biggest takeaway for me from the Jody is really how comfortable it is as a bag, how unique and how well made it feels. I don't think I have much to say about this one that I have not said before. Since the day that I got my mini Kelly, I just, it's my grab and go. It's the bag that I don't have to think twice about it. I have been so scared of giving it color transfer because I've been getting so risky and just always, always, always using it. So I try to be careful, but I just love it so, so much. And I find it so convenient because I can just crossbody the bag and not be worried about it. I walk a lot too many places. And when you have a bag like this, that it's so small, that does fit your wallet and your essentials, it just became a game changer for me and also, I just love the color of the bag. I'm obsessed with white bags. I love them so much. So this bag remains unbeaten on my most used bag so far. Like this is the top of the top. There is another one that is making competition for it, but I don't think that this is going to change. I absolutely love it. And I know that I talk a lot about this bag. So this was such a big shock for me because when I got it, I thought that this was going to be like my special occasion bag. I was just going to take it out for special occasions maybe a dinner out, maybe this, maybe that. But I ended up grabbing this bag on every chance that I got. If I was wearing an all black outfit, all oh, this would look amazing with it. If it was a fun dinner out, this one was perfect. If I'm going on a trip, I'm sure I'm gonna find an occasion to wear the bag. I just love this bag for so many years from afar that the moment that I was able to finally get it, I just took it and run with it. And I've been using it just every single chance that I get. This is one of the bags that I always get so many compliments in and I do understand it. It's so special, it is so beautiful and I'm so happy that I just didn't let it be a special occasion bag and that I can implement it on my lifestyle and going out even if it's daylight. I really really love using this bag. I believe that these things are meant to be used. I know that it's a special bag but I love grabbing it every time that I feel like it because it makes me really happy. I feel like it makes outfits look so so cool and I also love pearls as you can see so this bag was such an amazing addition and definitely a dream come true because I had it on my wish list for years and years and years. And the last bag and my most recent addition to my closet is my Birkin 25 in Jean with Palladium hardware. Being someone that is so picky about neutrals and having a hard time pairing pink, I did not expect to love yellow so, so much. And I think the only way that I can explain this is that I see myself in this bag. Like if I was a bag, I'm this bag. I love the size, I love the color. I just managed to make it work with pretty much any outfit when I want 
to wear. And yellow is not the easiest color to bear, but I think specifically this shade of yellow just works out for me in such a perfect way that I've used this bag so, so much and I've surprised myself with how much I love it, how much I'm reaching out for color versus black, white, brown bags lately. I've been on the point that I can tell you that this bag is my most used bag in the past three months, more than the Mini Kelly. I just really, really am in love with it. I already knew that I liked the bag and I already knew that I liked the size. So adding it in a color that I knew that I loved so, so much was just a big, big hit. And I do appreciate so much to Georgia from Riddle Lux that took all of the time in the world to source this bag for me because I've been talking about Jean Poussin for such a long time. And here we are, probably one of my favorite bags ever to date. So I'm so, so happy that I was patient and that I was able to get it and that it's been working out so so amazingly for me because I really love the bag and I adore the color. So with all that said, I'm really looking forward to see what changes in the next couple of months. If I add something, if I take out something, I definitely feel like I need to sit down and rethink a little bit my wishlist because of course it's going to change a little bit from what I thought in January. So I definitely need to sit down and consider that and also think about the things that I'm probably going to let go alongside some shoes that I definitely feel like every few months I I need to do a bit of a clean out of the things that I'm just not using as much as I should so I can make space to try new things out. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and I would love to hear out which is your most used bag and your least used bag and your reasons why in the comment section down below. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you're not done watching, I'm gonna leave you two videos right here in case you wanna check them out. Thank you and see you on the next one. Bye!